Well, hello everybody, RV living with the geezer, and uh, where's the counter space? <laughs> what a mess. I'm in the middle of, I've been cooking this afternoon, and I'm fixing to make some, uh, I've been watching that uh, cooking channel from Mexico, that Ruta La Nueve, and uh, they've been inspiring me, those guys really been They've been whipping out some good stuff. So I'm going to make some uh, calabacitas con queso con puerco. And that's uh, squash and uh, mixed with, it's got corn in it. And you got stewed tomatoes, which I, I just cooked down in that. Uh, those are fresh tomatoes I cooked down in that cast iron skillet. And uh, that was pretty easy. I got my bigger pan heated up there. And uh, yeah, it's got a squash and then uh, got some onions prepped, some uh, real garlic, a little jalapeno. I'm going to saute all that up. And then you put in your corn. Just got some frozen corn there. And then later on, I'll add some of this really good. Uh, I've already gone through... Uh, one of them, the uh, smoked uh, tenderloin that Scott gave me. So there's the other one there. I won't use it all. I've been sort of rationing that stuff, but uh, I'll add a little. You don't have to add uh, meat to this dish. And then you got some uh, Fiesta cheese on top. So uh, let me get it going in the skillet, and uh, I'll come back to you guys. Oh, before I forget, yeah, I, uh, I've been busy. Uh, my crock pot I uh, put on earlier today, and I was just trying to cook up the stuff I have in my refrigerator. And I had a package of, uh, in my pantry, I had a package of the northern, great northern beans. So look at this. I already had a bowl. It turned out really good. And I put in uh, the other day, uh, at Walmart, I guess they had a bunch of turkey necks left over from, uh, Thanksgiving, and they were smoked, and, uh, they were on sale, so I couldn't pass them up, and, uh, bought a big old package of them for $4.40, so I put, put turkey necks in there, and, uh, yeah, you get some good smoked turkey, and they, it just falls off the bone. You just got to watch out for the, if you do that, you got to watch out for the bones in there. But it's also got uh, onion. It's got uh, celery, onions, and uh, carrots. And it turned out really good, and I'm, I'm going to be eating those beans for a while, too. So, so let me get this going, and uh, we'll be right back. I'll show you what it looks like while it's cooking. All right, we got her going here and uh, show you what I seasoned it with uh, in no particular order. Just a little salt. I don't use a whole lot of salt on anything. Some pepper. Uh, some, uh, even though I put jalapenos in there, I love these things that Lisa Richter sent me and I'm about done with them. Uh, Green and red hatch chili flakes. They are really good. Uh, some oregano. And a little bit more, even though I put fresh garlic in there, I got a little more garlic powder. And uh, there's my corn I put in. Got my tomatoes in there. And uh, yeah, I just seasoned it up. I hadn't even stirred it yet. Let's just get this tossed around here. Sorry about the camera work. And then, I don't have a lid for the skillet, but I found this big old lid in a thrift store. It fits it pretty good. So we'll bring it up. We'll bring it up to a boil, and then I'll cover it up like that. I'm not going to cover it yet, though. But, uh, yeah. And then we'll, once it's cooked, then we'll put our... Uh, put our cheese on it, and uh, I may keep it vegetarian for a day or so, and then 
I'll add the pork later on. So, yeah, it's already coming up. See, it's already coming to a boil. So, uh, find my spoon here. Smooth it out a little bit. We'll just let it sit there and simmer. My son's supposed to help me put some entries in for a bowl, college bowl pick em contest tonight in the computer. Maybe I'll get lucky this year and win a little, win a little cash. Who knows? Oh, I got to tell you what happened to me the other night. Folks, when you get old, look out. Just double check everything. I came in here to the bathroom the other night, and evidently I uh, had the water going, and uh, I walked off and didn't shut it off, and I'm sitting over here on my beat-up couch, and uh, I hear this, I said, is it raining? It wasn't supposed to rain tonight. I hear some dripping, and... I, I didn't have any lights on in here, just the TV. I uh, I looked down on, and the whole living room floor here was covered with water, and it was dripping down into my return air uh, uh, ducts for the furnace. I walked in here, and what had happened, you know, you got a 30-gallon, and I think my, my gray water tank was pretty full already it filled up and backed up and this whole countertop here was all my clothes that's my like sleeping clothes all my clothes over there were on the bottom ones were all soaked and it was drip, dripping off this countertop oh boy so uh i went next door to see if they had a mop and stephanie gave me a water vac but i didn't oh whoops I've got a good boil going now. Let me get this cut down. Sorry about the camera work. Okay, user. Uh, yeah. So, uh, just uh, double check yourselves. You know, get your finger out of the way, user. Just double check yourself. So, uh, all right, guys. You know, I'm going to call this video good right here. I won't wait to plate it all up, but I've already had a bowl of soup, so between the, uh, this, the calabacita, and this soup, uh, I'm going to be eating uh, the same thing for several nights in a row here. Yeah, yeah, and uh, nothing wrong with that. And then I can uh, I can freeze, you know. I'll put I'll uh, eat on it a while, three or four days, and then I'll I'll put it in freezer bags and. Uh, freeze it up and wait a couple of weeks and then I'll eat the rest of it. So I don't waste anything. Not these days. Food's too expensive. Heck, I didn't wait. I never wasted food when it wasn't expensive. We, we weren't raised that way. So, uh, yeah, I won't even show you with the, or well, with the cheese on top, it really looks good, but, uh, you can, I'll just let you, Imagine what it's going to look like because it's uh, I got to get that squash soft in there All right guys, I don't want to keep you too long Have a good one. Stay blessed Stay positive and uh, I guess this is healthy eating uh, Yeah, I've, I've eaten a lot worse <laughs> Talk to you later. Adios. Bye-bye